saying if you haven't moved, stay. Even the local police are saying this is getting dangerous enough. We are not responding to calls. So the local police are taking shelter and saying we are going to stay in now until the storm passes. So again, if you're in Glynn County and you have not evacuated, shelter in place because this is getting an awful lot worse here, Steph. Director Craig Fugate, as well as uh, the rest of our national security team. And I just wanted to make a couple of key points. Uh, first, what we're seeing now is Matthew having moved above South Florida and some of the largest population centers uh, working its way north. And the big concern that people are having right now uh, is the effects that it could have uh, in areas like Jacksonville on through Georgia. And although we've seen some significant damage uh, in portions of South Florida, I think the bigger concern at this point is not just hurricane force winds, uh, but storm surge. Uh, many of you will remember uh, Hurricane Sandy, where Initially, people thought this doesn't look as bad as we thought, and then suddenly you get massive storm surge and a lot of people uh, were severely affected. And so I just want to emphasize to everybody that uh, this is still a really dangerous hurricane, that the potential for storm surge, flooding, loss of life, and severe property damage continues to exist and people continue to need to follow uh, the instructions of their local officials uh, over the, the course of the next 24, 48, 72 hours. Uh, those of you who live in Georgia, I think should be paying attention uh, because there's been a lot of emphasis on Florida, but this thing is gonna keep on moving north through Florida into South Carolina. Uh, there are large population centers there that could be vulnerable. So pay attention to what your local officials uh, are telling you. If they tell you to evacuate, you need to get out of there and move to higher ground because storm surge can move very quickly and uh, people can think that they're out of the woods and then suddenly uh, get hit and not be in a position in which uh, they and their families uh, are safe. So pay attention to local officials. In the meantime, uh, I've been in contact with the governors of all four of the potentially affected states. I want to thank them all for their leadership. There's been strong cooperation between federal uh, and state and local officials. FEMA has worked diligently to pre-position resources, assets, water, food, commodities. Uh, and as the hurricane moves north, what Craig and his team will be doing is moving those uh, resources and assets further north so that uh, any place that happens to get hit badly will be in a position uh, to immediately come in and help. But I really want to emphasize the governors have been on top of this. State and local officials have been on top of this. They are the ones who are tracking most closely what is happening in your particular community, your particular area. You need to pay attention to them, do what they say, do not be a holdout here because we can always uh, replace property, uh, but we can't replace lives. Uh, I want to thank uh, Craig and his old team, uh, as well as Department of Homeland Security, my own national security team, uh, for really staying on top of this. We're going to monitor this uh, throughout the weekend. Um, our, our thoughts and prayers are with folks who have been affected. Uh, you know, it's, it's e even if the damage in South Florida wasn't as bad as it could be, there are people who've been affected, uh, and for them, uh, they're going to need help. Last point I'd like to make is we're still uh, tracking what happened in areas like Haiti that were hit more directly. Uh, Haiti is 
one of the poorest countries in the world. It has consistently been hit and battered by a lot of natural disasters to compound uh, what is already uh, great poverty there. Uh, we know that hundreds of people uh, have lost their lives and that there's been severe property damage and they're going to need help rebuilding. So I would ask uh, all Americans to uh, go to the American Red Cross and uh, other philanthropic agencies uh, to make sure that we're uh, doing what we need to do to help uh, people in need. Uh, and we'll continue to provide information. If you're interested in how you can help uh, the people of Haiti and others, uh, you can go to whitehouse.gov and we'll provide you some direction in terms of where uh, even the smallest contribution can really make a big difference. All right? Thank you very much, everybody. Okay. meeting there is on Belleville looks like right now the river it has overflown the banks river and the road is now one this is live action going on right now as you can see take a look not good at all Forecasters say Hurricane Matthews winds are powerful enough to wreck houses. The Category 4 storm is the first major hurricane to hit the Caribbean in four years and is heading toward Jamaica and Cuba. Earlier, authorities along Colombia's Caribbean coast prepared for Matthew by prohibiting beach access to visitors. In Port-au-Prince, Haiti, residents in tent cities braced with what they could. Matthew is expected to bring tropical storm conditions along Haiti's southern coast. Meteorologists say the storm is expected to make landfall in Jamaica as a major storm on Monday before moving toward Cuba.
Jacksonville. That's even this eye wall, this most dangerous part of the storm in terms of wind, is now well offshore and pulling away from the coast because of the nature of the coastline there and the motion. It's going to be away from the coast for a little while, but that really doesn't matter because it will continue to pile up the water, and that's happening now, and we've just seen tremendous water level rises coming into many of these beaches. And in fact, this is a flash flood emergency that is now in effect there, and that is for Nassau County, uh, for the coastal areas there in Fernandina Beach, and that's because of the high water that is occurring already. So.